Joining us now to discuss is Matt Hogan, Chief Investment Officer at Asset Manager Bitwise. Thank you so much for joining us, Matt. So we're seeing Bitcoin dropping to a new 23-month low as crypto traders process that news that Binance, who was potentially going to save FTX, uh, this ailing rival from uh, insolvency and it's a liquidity scare, may not actually happen. So why is Bitcoin being impacted by what's happening with FTX and its native token FTT, Solana, and other altcoins? Uh, great. Thanks for having me on. Of course, it's a great question. We are seeing all crypto assets impacted, including Bitcoin. I think what's going on in the market right now is people are writing down the possibility of other shoes to drop. You mentioned CZ not following through with his acquisition plans. There's also potential unruly unwinding at Alameda. In addition to that, you have the knock-on effects, which you mentioned in the next segment. What does that unwind? So the market is pricing in all those negative eventualities. And at the same time, the forces that would pick this market back up are likely to be sitting on their hands. Those are the institutional investors, the venture capitalists, the hedge funds, the financial advisors who have been eyeing this market and positioning to enter it as we approach year end. But now they have a reason to step back. So you have natural sellers and no natural buyers. And as a result, we're seeing this downward market. It will find a bottom. I don't necessarily think we're that far from it, uh, but that is the dynamic that we're seeing in the market today. If you were to peg a bottom, where would it be, Matt? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to look at that chart and pick out any particular asset level. Again, I think the market needs to digest the worst of all possible scenarios, which I think is what it's doing now. It's pricing in the FTX merger not going through. It's pricing in a messy collapse from Alameda, and it's likely pricing in a few knock-on effects. But it is important to remember that the hole is only so big. FTT was only so big as a crypto asset. It's not a massive gaping hole, but it'll take this market a while to find its bottom. So where will this uh, contagion impact? How low, how, how, what, what's going to happen next in your view? How, how yeah, deep I of an impact will have? Oh, it's a great question. I think the end of the, the rest of the year is likely to be a volatile period for crypto. In addition to this, you're likely to see tax lost harvest selling contribute downward pressure on many crypto assets as investors look to lower their tax bill by selling assets that are down. Uh, I suspect the market may struggle to find its footing before we get into 2023. I don't know how much further below here we're going to go. Again, there's no obvious level of support on the chart, but there are a lot of professional capital that was eyeing this market and I think will want to get in. I think it'll be interesting to see if they allocate mainly to Bitcoin or to Ethereum or a combination of both. We will find that bottom, but I would suspect the remainder of this year will be a volatile choppy market as we wait to see how many more shoes drop from this, how long do the repercussions continue. You know, I think it took three or four or maybe even five months for the market to fully digest what happened to Luna and Celsius. It could take at least that long, maybe longer to fully digest this and get comfort that what remains of crypto is built on a solid foundation. When crypto does, when the industry does find that comfort, that's where we'll bottom. I'm also looking at the Bitwise Crypto Industry Innovators ETF, which tracks crypto stocks. It's down 86% over the past year. Is there any concern about that? On the flip side, we're hearing that ARK Investments, uh, Kathy Wood, is actually buying up coin at a moment like now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the crypto equity market bottomed before the crypto market at large. The market has aggressively marked down those stocks such at the point they're looking remarkably uh, interesting as a valuation perspective. You look at something like Coinbase, which really, if you compare it not to last year, but you compare it to where it was four years ago at this point in the cycle, is a much bigger, much stronger business that's executing well. It may even benefit from this FTX collapse. I think that's an attractive equity. If you look at a company like Silvergate that's positively inflected by rising rates, uh, has an enormous customer growth, is now trading in a very contained valuation, I think you'll start to see value hunters come into the crypto equity market soon. Kathy Wood is probably a leading indicator, but the valuations for well-capitalized companies with strong balance sheets, and there are many of those, I think is getting too attractive to ignore. So I'd suspect those stocks will begin sniffing a bottom pretty soon if they haven't already.